Hi everyone, welcome back to How Text. Today we have the Azul Access Plus, which is a fanless Windows 10 mini PC stick. And this is basically a mini computer that you can plug into your TV running on Intel Atom processor. And uh, it includes two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. And it also has a uh, micro SD slot, so you can expand that. And on the inside, we have an Intel Cherry Trail T3 Z8300 quad core 1.44 gigahertz processor. And it also comes with a one year warranty. Okay, so let's pop this guy open. And it's pretty simple. Basically, it's a tray and a couple of odds and ends. So first of all, we have the mini PC. Let's take the top off. And this is obviously the computer and we have some power cables and whatnot, but let's get this guy out first. So this is a fanless solid chunk of metal. So the interesting shape on this is basically because there's no fan, this is just a giant heat sink. And so these little ripples uh, help it dissipate heat, which are on the top and bottom. And actually it gives us a warning here that says, uh, because it's fanless, depending on what this thing is doing, if it's running really hot, the, it can get hot to the touch. So it has a small wireless antenna. And then ports wise, we have a USB, we have a USB 3.0, uh, we have a, a mini USB uh, plug which is used for the power. Uh, we have one button here and on the back side we have a micro SD slot. And on the back we have a line out or headphone jack. We have an Ethernet plug and uh, RJ45. And we have one spot for uh, a Kensington type lock. And that's basically it. And of course we have an HDMI plug here on the end. And so as you can see, the idea is this thing is so small, it's pretty light, maybe, I don't know, 250 grams, um, maybe a half a pound. Uh, this thing is so light that you can basically plug it straight into the HDMI port on your TV and just have it on the back of your TV sticking out the side. Uh, so that's the unit itself. Let's take a look at what else we have here. So we have a power brick. In this case, we have the North American plugs, but I guess it's changeable. So if you look closely, you can see this actually a 3000 milliamp uh, at five volt output. So this is like a USB, but it's a very high power USB. So you can't just use any USB power source to replace this. You want definitely something uh, on the higher end, because you can imagine if this thing is getting hot, then you can imagine how much power it's drawing. So you definitely want to make sure you have a high enough power brick to power it. Uh, what else do we have? So most important is we have a HDMI extension cable. So one of the issues that I face, so for example with this TV, is there's one HDMI port and it's on the back and it's not even in an accessible space, so I can't just plug this in. Um, but thankfully they include this HDMI extension cable. So I can leave this on uh, the table and just use the HDMI extension to reach that one port in the back, uh, which is just in general a better idea than leaving it plugged in directly and putting a lot of strain on, your, uh, on the port on the TV. So that's good. Uh, and then we have some documentation, uh, tech support, it's trying to pitch a VPN, and we have one or two other things. So this is basically all the instructions. It is a quick start guide, which as you can see is pretty simple. Um, we already went through all this. There is one bit of instructions, which is how to connect to a HD TV or monitor. And this is basically telling you how to adjust uh, the video settings on Windows. So that's basically it. Let's get this thing connected to our TV and see if it boots up. Okay, so we've got our HDMI extension in and let's plug that in. And it's kind of a tight squeeze, there we go. And now plug in the power. And before we forget, let's make sure that we're on the HDMI, which we are. 
And so now you can see uh, that this thing is lit up. There's a red light on the top. So hold down the button for one sec and now the light is blue. And here we are, Azul. In order to uh, set this guy up, of course, you need some kind of input method. So instead of plugging in a USB keyboard and mouse, we're going to try out our Azul Link, which we also got from Azul. And uh, this thing is an air mouse and mini keyboard that uses a USB dongle. So let's plug this guy in. And it should be plug and play. So let's see if this is working. Okay, there we go. So let's do USA. Sure. Let's pick our Wi Fi. Do the express settings. Not very express. Hi Cortana. Okay, here we go. So now we have Windows 10 open and it should boot up. Check out a trailer. Okay, so as you can see, the web browser works. Um, it's sim setup was pretty simple. Uh, I'm sure you can spend a lot more time customizing it, entering in your passwords and whatnot. But uh, just to do a basic setup, it was actually pretty easy. Um, there's definitely some difficulties in using this thing to control a PC. So definitely interesting. Uh, let's see if Cortana works. Cortana, can you hear me? Cortana, can you hear me? Oh, it actually worked. Okay. You're coming in loud and clear. Thank you, Cortana. Thank you, Cortana. Cortana, what time is it? It's 2.08 p.m. Which is actually correct, so. So that's basically it for unboxing and setting up the Azul Access Plus Mini PC. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to check out our how-to videos for the Access Plus as well as the Azul Link multifunction remote being used here on the Access Plus. Okay, see you next time, bye. Now you just have to turn it on to the mouse on off, which turns on the air mouse. And now we can see uh, that it can move.